Would you like to format numeric fields with decimals or format dates based on your mini chat subscribers or concatenate text fields together? Well, I'm gonna show you how to do that and I'm gonna show you that now. All right, let's get this party started. We are going to talk about formatting fields. Uh, some of the features that ManyChat has, how you can format around uh, calculations, result fields, so you don't have 10 digits. And also we're gonna talk about how formatting uh, dates and time and the features that ManyChat has. So we're going to take, I have three number fields, a one value, a two value, a three value, and a one value is a result of a two and a th three getting divided. And you see all these digits, you know, basically you have all these. And we want something that's a little like one decimal point. So what we're gonna do is, and I kind of was doing some tests here. Uh, we're just gonna start from scratch. I'm gonna create an action. And this action is going to set a custom field, all right? And we're going to get that custom field as A1 value. And once you do that, it, it reverts to a number field type of setup. And here you can set, you know, set it to a number. You can increase by a number, decrease by a number, but we're gonna use a custom formula. And it could be something like you're doing a BMI calculator or a financial calculator, something that you're calculating, you're gonna use this custom formula to put the formula together to come up with a result in a custom user field. So here we're going to just divide a two value by a three value, right? So now that's gonna give us the result. And we're going to display this result to the subscriber. So we're going to take this out and we're going to do a message. And we're going to say, hey, Jeff. Here are your results. And we're going to bring up a one value. And right here. It's just a uh, decimal count, and you can go click is round it to a number of decimals. And you have a choice. You could do it with no decimals, one, two, and three. I'm going to pick one. All right, so we're going to round to one on that. And I want to show you a couple other things. And so now it's going to round. And so let's say, though, the result needs to be in dollars. So what you would do is put a dollar sign and then go get that field again. And you're going to pick two decimal points. And so now you have a display of dollars versus just a number with rounded to certain decimals. So we're going to look at that once we display it. Actually, well, let's just fire this off and we're going to preview it. And, and uh, I think, oh, <laughs> here, let me move me up out of here. I gotta move the starting point. All right, so we move the starting point there, starting step, just to obviously make sure I was doing the test and it ran this. So we're gonna run that again, we're gonna preview. And there we are. Hey, Jeff, here's your results. One. So round it up to one. Because um, we had one decimal, so it rounded up. Well, that's interesting. I don't know why it went to set 0.9. I don't know if that's really what you want it. So let's say, okay. And anyway, sorry, I'm bouncing back and forth. So we went to two decimal points. Oh, okay, so if we round it up to one, it's, I, I see what they're doing. All right. 
they rounded it all the way up instead of just cutting it off. So, okay. Because 8 rounded up the 9 to a 1, and so it rounded up to 1. So, you know, you have to kind of test it out because maybe you want the decimals. Maybe that's, well, 1 is, and you want below 1. So what we'd want to do, because here's the dollars, which worked just perfect. So maybe that's what we'd want to do, you know, depending on your results that you want. You just click on that field and you can change it. So let's just say we want three digits. And so we're going to test that out again. And there we go, 0.987. Okay. So you just kind of, kind of watch. I mean, if you want it to round up, I mean, obviously it was at nine, so it rounded it way up. All right. So with that, what we're going to do is we're going to come off the bottom of this and we're going to play around with some dates. So you can actually format some dates as well. And I have at the time it was current date. Here we go. Current date, February 15th, 2017. And then I have one with time. And you can see right here, it's showing me it's 1304, but then a UTC of minus five. Um, you're going to add that. It's going to add five hours to it. Uh, because it's saying this is five hours off. So what we're going to do is I'm going to bring in current current date. And now you could do without formatting. You can format it this way. You can format it this way, this way, this way. And you can do custom formatting. And we're going to look at all of them. So I'm just going to pick this. So it's going to display that way. And we're going to pick a few of them. Uh, current date. And we're going to pick this one. And then what you can do, pick current date. I'm going to pick custom format. Oh. And now you can actually format however you want. And so I'm just going to delete these. And I'm going to hit the little squiggly thing. And you can do year. You can do month in different ways. You can do day in different ways. So I'm going to do month like that. And then I'm going to put a slash like that. And I'm going to put uh, day, Monday. And I'm going to do that. And I'll do the year, full year. All right. I'm going to save that. All right. And so let's just see how all that looks. Preview. So we have this date, that date, and then February, Wednesday, 2017. So convert it all. It depends on how you want it to display. So it's kind of cool. Now we're going to change over here. We're going to bring in a date time. And as we saw over here, it has a UTC of five. So that would be 18, which would be 6, 604 my time or basically with the UTC you added the UTC to it and it's going to do it automatically which is really cool so I'm just going to pick this um, for now and then we're going to do another one and I'm going to pick uh, custom formatting pick it over there I'm going to clear all this out and now you're going to have a few more options because you have time right here. And so we could do hour, and minutes. and seconds. 
I'll change that. Um, I just want to change that. All right, so we're going to save that. So now I'm going to publish this. And we're going to preview it. And there we go. So you can see that it, it did 604. Here's 604 and six seconds. Um, here's the time, PM. So you can see that it's actually formatting and applying the UTC. So really cool what Minichat has done. You don't have to worry about the UTC and what you're displaying. Um, I know some countries do year, month, day. You can do that. You can do it any format you want. And actually, you know, the custom is really cool because now you can just click on the, the field to bring it back up, all right? And now you can do some really custom things and stuff like that and, and do it so that your subscribers understand depending on the country you're in. And we're going to do one more. And what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you, I'm going to go off the bottom of this. And we're going to, let's move that up there, do another message. And um, let's see, you can concatenate fields. So let's see, I'm going to go out here and I think I have like a answer or something like that. <laughs> a answer. So actually, I'm going to take this off. Delete that. We're going to do an action. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're going to set a custom field. And it's going to be a answer. I'm just going to, I'm just going to use first name, last name. So you could, you know, maybe have some numbers that you want to, you know, put together or maybe an address. And so I'm just going to do this. And I'm just going to put a dash and I'm going to put last name all right and so you can concatenate fields together or maybe what you need to do is you need to have a uh, colon between the two you know something that you're putting together and so we're going to do that and then what we're going to do is we're going to do a message a message, uh, my bubble's getting away there, I guess. <laughs> message to put in a answer right there. And we'll publish that. And then we're gonna run this. And there we are. And so I'll put a semicolon in between. So it's text fields that you can concatenate together. So I just wanted to show you that if there's ever in any situation where you want to concatenate something together, like uh, character fields, and you want to put them together for some reason, you can. Because uh, sometimes, you know, like the ref URL uses one, uh, just has one variable that you can pass in. And so you might have them together. You know? So there may be a, a, a situation where you need to do that. I just wanted to show you that little trick too. Well, that concludes our video for today on how to format data within Minichat. We looked at formatting numeric fields with decimals. We looked at formatting dates based on maybe your Minichat subscribers and what they're used to. And we looked at concatenating uh, text fields together to make one custom field. If you have any questions or comments on those, please post them down below. Happy to answer them. And as always, like the video, share it across the world, subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any future videos. Click the little bell to get notification when new videos are uploaded. Down in the description, I have a link to a great Facebook group, all like-minded people sharing things. Come on and join us. And as always, have a great week, and I'll see you in the next video.